In this video, I'm about to give you five controller tips to help you get better right now so you can be ready for season 15 and send some people back to the lobby. Let's get it. All right, man, we're going to look at these settings real quick. And no, this ain't going to be by sensitivity and none of that. That's another video for another time. But we're going to go over to button layout and go to a button puncher. And this is going to help you stop meleeing on accident. I used to have that problem. So change your melee to this B button here or whatever you're using. I think circle for PlayStation and then uh, the right analog stick is going to be your new crouch button. This way you crouch easier and faster. And not only that, you'll stop knifing on accident when you get scared and slam, your, slam your, your thumb into the stick, bro. So, yeah, change that. Next is going to be your crouch button. I have mine on toggle. Some people say hold is faster. But, like I said, this is preference. But, you know what I'm saying, the famous streamers say hold. I prefer toggle. Do with that what you will. Next is your menu cursor speed, and this is important for everybody that wants to loot boxes fast. Um, we're not on PC, we can't move while looting, so we're sitting duck, bro, every time. So at least work on being fast inside the box. Figure out where things is, muscle memory, slide down, grab it, and we out, bro. So yeah, put it on halfway or more, but yeah, man. And last but not least on the settings, go down to vibration. And yes, this does affect your aim, bro. Imagine, your little thumb on the stick, bro. You already got to control the the uh, recoil pattern of the gun so now add some vibrating mess to it right it, it's messing with it trust me bro just turn that off all right next we're going to talk about the most important thing when it comes to controller and the advantage that we have over pc players right so that aim assist now the farther you are the harder it is for your aim assist to assist you in fighting right because smaller target that means when you miss you're probably missing like this that means your aim assist has a longer distance to carry your gun to and by then you probably already moved your stick some more so come in some it's less area for you to miss less space for the aim assist to pull which means you're gonna hit more shots man so keep it close quarters if you can but that's where the uh, controller players shine man so take advantage next is crouch spamming we all know what this is but you gotta do it bro i'm telling you this is gonna save your head this is gonna save your head bro i do it every fight no matter what Crouch spamming, bro. Even when people do it to me, I don't hit them, bro. It's just like, I think the guns are so big in Apex on the screen that if you're this close or this close and somebody crouches, they disappear off your screen, bro. Like, you, the gun covers them up. So, 100% implement that crouch spam, man. All right, next is reloading, bro. And I know I said five tips, but I'm just going to give you as many tips as possible, bro. Like, who cares? It just looks better in a title. But... Next is reloading, and uh, what I mean by that is always reload, bro. I'm used to it because of Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? Every time you shoot some bullets, you got to reload. You got to be ready to challenge the next person. Same thing with Apex. Third parties, teammates, you got to be ready to re-challenge at all times. So say you shoot this guy. You know he's weak, bro. You know he's weak, but he runs around the corner. But you don't know where he's running to or who he's running to or what he's preparing to do. So instead of running in with 10 bullets, and now you're the victim because you got 10 bullets against two people you know what i'm saying just reload on the way to the x man reload on the way to the fight that's all i'm saying it's super simple but uh it's gonna save your life all right my next tip and i know i said i wasn't gonna talk about settings but this is very important when it comes to aim assist and controllers so i'm not gonna tell you what settings to use but i'm gonna tell you how to set them up to use them right so if you're not using the aoc that's fine but keep it on like five four 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 that's like the perfect settings quote unquote from the community but in all reality, this is what you need to follow, right? You need to have sh uh, slow ADS, and that's pretty much it. This is basically to help your uh, aim assist actually do its job. But if you're like me and wants to look around fast, get a turnaround corners fast and stuff like that, I actually have my sensitivity super high, but I use, um, where's it at? Per optic settings, and I have that super low. So therefore, when I'm not aiming in, I can turn fast, look around fast. But as soon as I aim in, it's very slow, right? So that's how I, you know what I'm saying? That's how I defeat that little aim assist problem. So there you go, man. Let me know what you think. If you, if you enjoy it and learn something, hey, man, hit that like button. But I'm out.